All right, who am I speaking with today? You're speaking with Devin Williams, mate. How you doing today, man? Oh, I'm very good, you? I'm doing pretty good How myself. How's that doing, man? Doing pretty good. So how's track been going for you? Oh, uh, it's been going well. Um, We went to nationals for the 4x4, and we managed to take seventh, and we're going to get back on that grind and just keep moving forward for outdoor season. Glad to hear that. So what inspired you to become a track and field athlete? What inspired me to be a good track athlete um, was the hard work and dedication that I put into the sport and the blood, sweat, and tears of never giving up and just having fun with running and just getting jiggity and wiggity with it in the 400. Jiggity and wiggity, I like that yeah. term. I like that term. So what does training look like for a track and field athlete? Um, a lot of running and a lot of smart running. What people think of um, running is we just run. No, we got to be running smart, especially with form and good technique and good mechanical skills with the running form and building speed and just a lot. It's a lot to take in with mental game and toughness. Interesting, interesting. So speaking of track, what is your favorite event to like compete in? Uh, definitely the 400. Interesting. The open four. Interesting, I love that. accomplishment in track and field? Um, going to nationals and competing and doing my best um, and just doing what I do best and just running and being an All-American. That's fantastic. So when it comes to preparing for a meet, how do you mentally like prepare before your competition? Um, I usually um, put some of my favorite songs on and then when I'm really, really about to be close to running, I take my headphones out and talk to myself and remind myself who I am and that everyone's, that I'm not just the only person that's nervous, everyone else is. So that's what helps me and just know that I just gotta be moving. Fair, fair, fair. Do you have any, any role models in the sport of track and field that you look up to? Uh. Uh, yes, Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt? Yeah. Why Usain Bolt? Because uh, he's just fast. He can feel like that. Agreed. He's, he cold. He's super fast. One of the best in the yeah. world. Are you, uh, like, grinding, achieving to become the best in the world, or what's your plan? Um, Definitely grinding to be one of the best in the world and just try and have fun and go fast and go crazy, and hopefully one day it will happen to where I'm on that elite level of the sprinting yeah, you can reach generation, that. yeah. Yeah, I know you can reach that level for sure. What's your biggest accomplishment in the sport? Um, uh, I heard y'all, you one. recently just went to nationals. Yeah. That's, that's uh, insane. Definitely that's us going nuts in the prelims. Yeah. Then I wasn't expecting that and me, um, me, being the anchor and fighting hard to to be in to make it to the finals and we made that happen and we accomplished that goal. That's good. I heard you all American also too. Oh yeah. That's that's insane to be doing that as a freshman. Yes sir. That's good. That's good. So during high school track did you have any like competition in the one hundred and two hundred? Yeah. Um that's a good question. Um one dude in, um, in high school, I remember racing back and forth. He was my rival. Um, his name is Josiah Williams. We would battle each other in the one and two. And I remember saying, it's like, all 
was going to be. They, they didn't know like, who to choose that's going to win. So they were like, okay, let's design better. We don't see which one's going to win this one. Yeah. So either way, it's like a win win for both of us. Yeah, sometimes it was pretty intense back in my time too. Yeah. Very intense. I'm recording, Messiah, but I'm recording.